Welcome to Carlson Financial Minute, your trusted financial resource, helping you to and through retirement. I'm Carl Carlson with Carlson & Company Financial Services, where we work with pre-retirees and retirees, helping you to and through retirement. Today we're talking about the average versus real rate of return. Here are the S&P 500 returns for each of the past 10 years. And here is the 10-year average annual rate of return. And here is the real annual rate of return. Why the difference? The problem occurs mostly because of the years with negative returns. And the higher the negative returns, the more dramatic the difference between the average and real return. Also, the S&P 500 does not include fees. If you're investing in retail mutual funds or variable annuities, these fees and costs can be 3 to 4% a year. If we use 3%, then here is your real rate of return. So to recap, if you started off with 1 million, you would be expecting to have this after 10 years. But you would actually have this for a difference of over $800,000. Make sure you take this into account when planning your investments and your retirement income. It can make the difference between an unsuccessful retirement plan and a successful retirement plan. Oftentimes, I see financial plans put together by many of the major firms that do not take this into account. This has been the Carlson Financial Minute, where it's my goal to put you on the better side of retirement planning. Visit our website at carlsonfinancialminute.com to request your complimentary consumer's guide or call at 785-408-5444. Tune in next week for another Carlson Financial Minute, helping you to and through retirement.